I agree with everything you said. Uh, when the people submit themselves to the Lord, the Lord actually elevates them. That's his, that's that's his habit. He says, if, if you humble yourself, then you will raise you up. Come on. The humility part is what's the difficult portion of it. Well, I think so. It's that's what's difficult because what we would have to do is to literally humble ourselves to a people who enslaved us, and that's giving us problems. That's what's causing the problems right now. We're looking at a situation or a society that seems as though it's still doing us an injustice, but we're still being asked by our God to submit ourselves to the laws and, the, and, the, and to love them that are oppressing us. Yes, so we look, at, we look at the state of the Romans, uh, the state of the Roman Empire and, and the Jews at the time Jesus Christ walked there, similar to what we're going through. Except the Romans didn't make any qualms about them beating the heck out of you. They drive, they drive to the wall. They, they were no yes. Yes. And unfortunately, un or fortunately, the same thing in two of the Americans, the people that conquered America. Yes. The only difference of it is they lied about who they were. Yeah. They yeah. used to lie as a deception to, to, to give them a second to get their enemies to reposition themselves. Right. They were the most murderous, even they did some of the most heinous crimes. If you can imagine in conquering this country, and that's well, what I they well, Elder, it. Elder, I want to throw something at you. Remember the dark ages? Oh, yeah, dark, remember the crusades, remember the crusades, <laughs> the dark and, ages. And, and you've been to that movie, you've been to that. I think, uh, I think Brother Asin said you've been to it, that, that uh, museum called Ripley, believe it or not. Have you been there, Elder? Ripley, believe it or not. Is that, that the one in DC? Is that part of us? I can't remember. I went to one. They got, I they got a few of them. There's one down in Florida. They, they got some in a couple of different states. Yeah. Well, the thing about it, if you you went there, I think you went there. If you went down to the lower section where the, the torture chambers were, uh, yeah. where where the uh, especially the European, I, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure other places had other kind of similar tools. But at least we have some documented tools of the atrocity of man. Yes. When, when, when you said this, when you say, what do you mean that, uh, uh, Brother Asin, you can stretch a man to death? Oh, yeah. You, you, you can put a man in a cane. Right. He was on the spikes, right. And the spikes, so when he started to, to get too tired and can't stand no more, did the spikes start digging into him? Oh, yeah. Um, Look at the cross. The cross was that, that, that function. I, you know what? Tries to, huh? The atrocities of mankind are not new. Ever since the, the fall in the Garden of Eden, we've been murdering each other off. Yeah. And, and so what we looked at with the United States of America is that the United States of America was, was, it was conquered just like any other nation. And the people who conquered it are trying to maintain control of it. And, and that's what we're seeing right now. And the injustices that occur in this country is to keep subcultures uh, submitted. Well, one, one of the things though is that the is the broken the, oh, well let me let me first talk about the torture there's another one that they had but as i thought it was real cruel well, stoning has always been a cruel thing and i didn't know people was, i didn't know people was putting people you know i guess they got the they so well until they yeah. only their head is that is, is that, is, that, that is so cold that that's <laughs> that's that's it that is the nature of man that is that is so that's an atrocity. Yes, sir. You know, but what? I remember one of the things that they had, they had something called a collar. I think it was called a collar, uh, where they, it, it basically had a plate around the person's head and, and, and they took a sludge hammer. This was in Europe. They took a sludge hammer and, and they whacked the man over the head with a sludge hammer while he's on his knees. How about Braveheart? They took the man's guts yep. out. Yeah, they stretched him out. And then they, and then they, they, they uh, out. yeah. And the Draw people, it in quarter. Huh? You put the horses, put the horses, and then have them pull you apart. Yeah. So you know that mankind, the word says the heart of the sheep is above all things that desperately wicked. Validated by the things that we've done to each other historically. And they did, and, and, and they, they were doing some of that stuff in the name of God. Oh, yeah. But, but was that Christ? It wasn't the Lord. It wasn't no. the Lord. But look at the death that he saw. Exactly. Don't forget the fact is that they banned the Bible. You, you know, we talk about the slave Bible. 
the, 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 the Bible itself was actually yeah, banned. that was sad. The actual Bible itself. I mean, when they start, matter of fact, if you go back to Catholic, and I'm trying to name Thomas Catholic, talking about the history of man. When they start talking, stop talking Latin and start talking English. Anybody remember? In the 70s, I was an altar boy at the time. I was still in the Catholic Church and I was <laughs> serving Mass. And uh, that, I was there when they were using Latin. We had the slightest idea what they were talking about. <laughs> so it had to be in this, it was the late 60s, early 70s. Maybe probably about early 70s, mid 70s, they, they switched it. You see then what I'm saying? Folk <laughs> went to folk uh, Mass and they started using folk music and then they used English. So yeah, it was up until the seventies yeah. that they were still speaking Latin in the in the mass. And then, and and when, when when the white people start reading, the poor whites start reading. Oh wow! That, okay. that also that's also brother Addison was uh, in the nineteen hundreds. So we know that our white brothers, that. our what? white brothers were also deceived by those who were in leadership position. That's what I'm trying to say because remember, long, that's why I was using the block parable. Yeah. Is a social order was established. Yep. And we, Brother Asa was talking about before you came in, Mississippi Burning. Did you see that movie, Mississippi Burning? Yep. Yep. Mississippi Burning, the guy, the FBI agent one time was talking about the fact that his father had a farm, that the black man had a farm, that the black man somehow got a mule, and he couldn't stand the fact that that man was, had a mule. So he killed the man. The same thing that I think happened in probably those other atrocities, such as even the Black uh, Wall Street. So, it, so, it, so when we look at it, for me, it's like how do we no longer be in the members of the king of, of the kings of the world? We no longer it's to come out from among them, be separate, right? We're no longer yes. part of those kingdoms. Yeah. How do we interface and interact with that kingdom as as citizens from the kingdom of God? You know, I, I know that the kingdom of God works better than other systems because of the distribution of power. Right. The application of it. So the kingdom of God principles, you can't beat them. Yeah. But the heart of man yeah. would not allow them to adhere to those principles because the heart of man is corrupt. Right. So we can have the best laws in place, but we're going to break them because yeah. our heart is corrupt. Because our heart is corrupt. Then, but what know. happens, the, 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 the thing for me is the elevation is going to occur at the will of God. We don't have to compete for elevation. And I say, and I say this with some confidence because the coronavirus will kill you regardless of whether you black, white, purple, green, orange, or whatever. Yeah. So God has shown us, and even as it was in the He's Old Testament. He's showing us. Put that in action. This, this is the impact. He's, He's showing, showing us how we read in the Bible that the angels came during the night and knocked out hundreds of thousands of men, or, 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 or thousands of men. Right. By morning, all you guys are dead. And so right. how, how did the angels come and do that? Well, maybe the angels that they spoke of were similar to the ones that we're looking at right now. Well, death plague. You remember, it'd be, well, all you got really is go by the the uh, the plagues that happened in in Egypt. And there are you know? no no weapons can fight yeah. these things. Right. No racism can uh -uh. thwart it. No, no. No matter what you got on inside your heart, right. if God don't keep you, you ain't gonna be kept. Right. <laughs> That's the bottom right. line. So yeah. I saw. Yeah. If I can say this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go wrong. I promise. Right. I have seen. And I have literally seen how God could reverse this nation's block social order yeah. in a year or less. Well, I, I would could. say, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm thinking that the movement started uh, once to, for the Catholic when they started to uh, uh, move the uh, move from Latin to, to English uh, or to the, you know, to, to a language that people can really understand. Spanish and all that other stuff. I uh, also said that it started when the ministries started to become word churches. You know that? Uh, the reason those successful those mega churches is a lot of cases because they are mostly word based. They may focus on the prosperity and all that stuff, but in a lot of cases they're word based. They encourage you to bring the Bible. Uh, and now technology is they putting it on the screen. So just in case you don't bring your Bible, <laughs> the words are being put up there. And, and I, I'm telling you is that when the scripture is talking about renewing your mind, when the word goes forth, it is affecting society. It, it is. is a, it, it's, it's breaking, the, so it's breaking that, 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 that structure. You know? Well, I think that 
what's key to elevation in any society because the word itself said that he pulled out one people and raised up another yeah. is their willingness to submit to him yeah. and, 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 and that's what we've got it's, it's not, our prowess as far as our knowledge base as far as the word was concerned our ability to read was teaches the nature of the god that we have to submit to right and yeah. when, as we submit to him he is going to elevate us i mean and he's going whoever submitted yeah. He's going to elevate whoever is following his plan the closest is going to be the one that's going to end up on the top. Come on now. Say that because if we look historically, all of the nations that didn't follow him are destroyed. Yeah. No matter how powerful it might have been, the Roman nation was at some point. The kingdom yeah. of God is still being forward, forwarded. Yeah. And, forward, and the Rome is gone. Yeah. Whether they reemerge or not, they're gone for the moment. Yeah. So every nation, every people, the, the what can I say that the prerequisite for elevation was submission to the Lord Jesus Christ. Exactly. So that's why with these guys, with us, when we get all in the flesh and stuff like that, we want to react and respond in the flesh. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> so now we're fighting Satan's game, exactly. and we're not really accepting that. <laughs> exactly. Okay, you, play, that. You, you, you get in an arena that you can't win. Yes, you weren't designed to win there. You're not. You designed were not designed to win in that arena, but yeah. that's hard to accept. Now, now, I do want to keep in mind what, what that arena does, though, can do what you said you kind of alluded to. It can do this, Brother Addison. It can reverse those blocks we talked about. It's going uh, to. And, but by balance, in other words, in other words, whatever order and laws to keep a certain structure, those blocks in order, mm -hmm. and the, the, the system does have something in it such as like y'all mentioned the word last Sunday, revolution. What, what we talked about is that you could you can change the order, move, move a D and move it to a B. And if you're successful and good enough, you can move it from the D to A, but it's gonna cause, it's, it's, a, it's a conflict that goes with it. What, what, what I saw was that when you come with your God, you come in as the sovereign. So even in the United States, I look at the lives and stuff that they're telling them they'll do is be paid. That's going to be some punishment extracted. There's a word that says the seed of the wicked shall not inherit. And as we look at the elevation of blacks in the United States of America these 400 years and so, where we come from, from the beginning of civil rights up to this point, even yeah. oppressed, yeah. where we come from, obviously the favor of God has been with us. Yeah. Because white people died to get us elevated. Black people died to get us elevated, but there had to be a consensus because if they all turned against us, then we would not have been this for it. The heart, it says, if your ways please the Lord, he'll make even your enemies to be at peace with you. Exactly. Our issue was we lost sight of favor with God and start trying to fight on Satan's plane, to fight the way he's fighting. Uh -huh. You need favor with God, because if you got favor with God, just like when, when the Israelites went into some of those places, they didn't even look for uh, an implement of war. The right. people ran off. They were run off by animals. They were ran off by, 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 by insects. These people left prior to the Israelites them getting this. So the Lord made a way for them to elevate. And if you look at what's happening right now, yeah. it's still working. Because well, the economy yeah. is the, yeah. the Achilles heel of our leadership or the country leadership is economy. Yeah. When yeah. that falls apart, they fall apart. And, and, and look and look at look, don't forget this. He he has been doing this through history, brother. Amen. Uh where we talked about, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make sure to keep you keep your energy up there too. I know you relax. No, no, I'm still up. I'm still there. I'm still here. But, but, but here's oh, you're talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> so I can see, I see all three boxes. Can y'all see all three boxes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. The uh, So we, I'm just saying, we got your tape. Let's make sure, we, we'll make you be a star, so let's make sure you see you. <laughs> but anyway, the, the he, he's good at taking the least and elevating it to the top. Amen. He used Joseph. Yes. He came as a slave, Brother Adams. The man rose all the way to the next to Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Through yeah. what did Joseph do to do that, though? Did he fight his way up to the top? And he didn't fight his way to the top. He, he, he just he the gifts not. of God, the gift and the knowing of God. That's why that's created as an example. All right? Yep. The, he 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 uses a a a, a slave a group in a most powerful one of the most powerful nations in the country in the in the world at that time 
and deliver them from that bondage. In other words, he broke the social order. Yes, sir. For that. And and I'm saying is he's as I'm trying to say he's doing that now. Yes, sir. But, but what, he wants, what he wants to do is not uh, create a what I you know I get a parable about the blocks A B C D and A you know so forth. He's not looking for that social structure of uh, I'm gonna just put one group over another group. No, he's not. not. That's not his. That's not his goal because he's trying to say we're one. Just like you know when you do the communion, is if you see what he's saying is, what y'all can't eat at home. You know, one brother eats, another goes hungry. Some eat before the other group and all that. He he said that that's not the order I want. Mm -hmm. I want the order of oneness. Catch where I'm coming from? So. Yep.